ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to City Skylines. I'm your host, Nexus, and, uh, well, today we're going to continue to develop this subdivision over here, and, uh, hopefully not have too many, uh, problems and woes, um, to deal with. Alright, so, what's going on here? Why would you all go that way? There's two traffic. What is the problem? What if we... Okay, we're not going to do that. What if we... Well, that kind of helped it out. Okay. Thank you. Because we really needed it to be helped out. <laughs> Alright, I thought I saw a fire. Nope, I did not. Yeah, I did. But I don't know how I thought I saw it all the way over here. Probably did. Uh, fire trucks. Yes, there's one there. Another fire truck. This whole block is going to be on fire. Is on fire in a minute. Not good, folks, not good. Where are the fire trucks? They are not going to get there fast enough. Uh, emergency services are coming through, people. Weren't you, you know, didn't your city tell you that you needed to stop in order for, you know, them to get through? The whole place is going to be on fire. I should probably put some, um, those things in. Yeah, that's what they're called, those things. Oh, that's not the right one. It's, a uh, fire department, these things, yeah. As much as they're covered, they're not covered. green or blue goodness let's put in a um let's put in a helicopter fire department helicopter depot where's the big fire department at over here oh that's not gonna work is it it's not it's not it's not it's not we'll put it right here it should have water it does it should have electricity Fire helicopter. Oh, they can put out forest fires. Okay, well, I don't. I thought that was going to help the city, but it's not. <laughs> but it'll help put out the fires in the forest if they, you know, become a problem. All right, so industry is coming in again, which means that we need, um, I guess, we up the budget of the. Pol let's put in another police station. Not up the budget. Let's just put in a bigger police station over here. Uh, where can we put it in? It would probably be nice to put. Here. There we go. And we can actually probably put another one in in the middle of the neighborhood. That's always that's always a pleasant thing. Cop drop right in the middle of your neighborhoods, folks. Some good coverage. Now houses are starting to upgrade. Like, yeah, we've got police protection. All rounder. Right, let's put in some more offices because I believe it's because we have a lot of students that need jobs. More people need more jobs. Um, put some here and here. 
watch them go. Holy crap. Holy moly. Mole, holy. Mole, holy. All right. We will not be putting anything there. Well, yeah, we can. Not the whole place, though. Because we'll cover that when we get to it. We'll come that bridge. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. All right. So. Everything looks good. Let's kick this into second gear because we know we like to grow quickly. We're losing money because we had so a demand for so much office space or whatever. We will attempt to put in some more industry later because well, well, right now we don't need it. Um, it's basically when we get all the students that are uh, educated through the university into office jobs and we suck up all that demand for office jobs, then we can start putting regular industry back in because people without college education, will that's where they'll have to work. Um, and we'll leave that on this side of the lake. This, if this train thing becomes a problem here, we might have to make a bridge or a tunnel under it. Either for the train or for the traffic. We'll wait and see what happens. Oh, oh there's garbage trucks 13 to 40, 14 to 47. Okay. Well, these garbage is not a problem. At least over in this part of the city, it's not. All right, let's try to get some more, um, we just soaked up all, okay, I was going to say we soaked up all the industrial. Let's get some more of this stuff over here. Because it's asking for it. That's why. Get rid of these, yeah, it's already being built there, so we won't get rid of anything. We'll let this build in. back to just daytime for a while. Because it does seem, because we play in, um, we play in second speed, so, um, most of the time, so I think that for a while we'll go back to daytime because it is going nighttime, daytime, um, it is going faster than it, you know, normally does, but I don't think that's the issue, I think it's just we're not getting enough we're not getting enough daytime uh, to look at stuff and enjoy everything because it always goes right back to night. We spend uh, most of our time, uh, you know, most of our series in the nighttime. A hearse, a hearse is needed, please. What's the problem? What is the holdup, ladies and gentlemen? Here comes one right now. Is it full? It's not. Hopefully, it stops and picks up this house. It does. Okay. It is a level three house. Awesome. Sweet. Garbage. None of you picked it up. You're all full. Why didn't you pick this up? Just right there. Shame on you. You're gonna pick it up. Awesome. All right. So now we should be focusing on, uh, well, we're about to become a metropolis. One more milestone after that. Um, I mean, it's going to be a while before we do. We've got 8,000 citizens, 7,000 citizens, 7,200 left before we hit that. Um, but it's coming. And then after that, it's pretty much uh, unlock as where whatever land we want and continue building. And uh, that's going to be pretty awesome. So not all this land actually got built in, but it's starting to as people start to come in. The demand is gone for housing. 
as it comes in it gets used up uh, residential I'm sorry commercial does not seem to want to play a part but it doesn't have a choice because I'm going to put some in right here and that's just going to be the way of it uh oh people go to work and make all you make your money and then go home and you know spend it on uh, luxurious uh, items and uh, material possessions all right so these colored houses are level four I'm gonna say these are five nope those are three uh, those are four well, what are these these are almost four the how I don't know what the how the color means. I mean, maybe that's just some of the new textures. I'm just going by that uh, they're higher level houses, but that's not true. Because, uh, maybe there's just different variations of higher level textured houses. That is very possible. Okay, there's a police problem. We just put in a police station. Get over yourself. Well, that's a fire station. There's two pol Okay, we're gonna put in a police helicopter. We're gonna put it in right next to We're gonna put it in right here. Shabang. Shaboyan. Alright. We're gonna put in a bigger police station then. Um actually. the whole subdivision on both sides awesome you guys happy now Th great I'm, I'm great it's wonderful it's wonderful okay oh my god okay so let's try and get some industry in while we're not sitting here paying attention to it see what happens Like it's taken off pretty quickly. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll see. 16 uneducated workers. There's 15 jobs available. There's going to be plenty of uneducated workers because we don't have enough universities to handle everybody at once. So as new generations come in, um, or new generations move into the area, kids are born and stuff like that, they'll work at the factories and they'll have jobs and then they'll go to the university. So it's just a, it's a, it's a cycle, you know? We'll keep it to where, you know, they, there's jobs available. There's 16 jobs available, but um, it says there's no workers, but that's bull hockey. Because we just put in a bunch of houses. And we're gonna put in a bunch more here. starting to get the jobs.
bureaucracy. We don't have enough offices because there's well-educated people working in a factory because there aren't any other jobs available. Yeah, okay. So offices are really, really are needed. Um, there's just too many educated citizens, uh, well-educated college degree citizens in the uh, city is what it comes down to. That's just the way You're complaining about being a, a police issue, but I just put it. No, that was the other place. What's this? Yeah, it's a police headquarters. What are you talking about, Willis? I don't know what you're talking about. Police should not be an issue. There are cops everywhere. I think. Stop, just, just stop complaining about everything. Always complaining about something. Just stop complaining. Uh, how many fire trucks does it take to put out one fire? Wow, seriously. You guys amaze me sometimes. I want to make sure, I'm just pretty much making sure right now that there's no traffic issues anywhere. Like, what's, what's this? What is this? Uh, excuse me. That's right. just don't understand why everybody was getting flustered up here. Probably should yield. 
we're going to change this. This whole intersection is going to be gone um, later anyway, because I don't like how the, I don't like this intersection at all. We're going to make our own, which will probably look horrendously worse, but it'll probably be way more effective than this is right now. This is nice early game when you're starting off, but right now it's, no, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Helicopter, maybe. It's very possible. Nobody else abandoned their building, right? Their, their post. Still waiting for stuff to come in. Like, there's not a whole lot of demand. But unfortunately, that's going to wrap it up, folks. Uh, thank you very much for joining me in this one. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like and a thumbs up. Hit the red subscribe button if you've not done so already. It's the kind thing to do. I appreciate the support. And uh, in doing so, I get to make more videos and you get to watch more videos. I've been Nexus, and this has been City Skylines. Thank you very much. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.